Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Bulos, BPS Digital Learning Coach, and I'm super excited to show you how to use frames in Seesaw. If you've never used frames before, I think you're going to be thrilled to see how simple it will be for your students to place elements on a Seesaw activity exactly where you want them to. It will eliminate lots of confusion and give your students, especially our youngest learners, much more structure when they're building a Seesaw activity. So let's get started. You'll notice here I'm in a Seesaw class and I'm going to select the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to select create activity or assessment. I'm going to start by giving it a name and I'm going to create an all about me activity. So this is going to allow me to get to know my students. It's going to allow me to see what their technology skills are when they're coming into my class. If I'm teaching first grade, I can see how much did my students use Seesaw when they were in kindergarten? Do they know how to take a photo? Can they record their voice or a video? Um, so I would highly encourage you to create an all about me activity on your own or just use this one because I'm going to share it with you. So after you give it a title, you can type instructions. If you have older students, get them reading right from the start of school. So add your written instructions here. If you have younger students who are non-readers, I would encourage you to record your voice and give some simple instructions. And then last but not least, add an example that you create so your students can see exactly what your expectations are. Um, you can also add notes for your colleagues if you'd like to share this with your grade level team members. And then you can add standards that will align to the activity. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Creative Canvas because that's what we want the students to do. So to add a frame, it's so simple. That's why I love Seesaw. All we have to do is come down to this check mark on the left hand side right underneath the camera. And you'll see here, Seesaw has added lots of different options for us as teachers in the platform. We're gonna be focusing on frames. So once this is added, you'll see here, you can specify exactly the type of multimedia you want your kids to add to the activity. So I'm gonna start with a photo. So once the photo is here, you as the teacher can resize this frame. And as soon as your students tap on that icon, the camera is going to open on their iPad. The picture will be taken and it's going to be placed right inside that frame. So you may be wondering, well, what are these three dots? Those three dots always mean more options. You can change the style of that box. You can change the order. If you're adding additional elements, you can bring things to the front or back. You can edit the actual frame and you could add additional um, tools. Maybe you want to give your students a choice. They can take a photo or do a video or they can record their voice. Again, this would probably be for older students. So if we're working with first graders, kindergarten, second grade, let's start with just photos, one tool at a time so they can practice and really gain uh, competency using that tool, master that tool before you move on to the next one. The other thing you can add as a teacher, which I think is fantastic here, is instructions. The default instructions are just simply take a photo. You can see that on the screen. However, you can eliminate all the words completely and it would just be empty. So your youngest students would just see that camera. That visual icon is going to prompt them to take a picture. But we want them to start reading, so let's keep those default instructions if we want. Last but not least, we could change and add our own instructions. So you can type them here and they would appear. And we could say, smile bright. And then once we do that, you're going to save and you can see it has changed to smile bright. The moment I tap on that camera icon, my camera's gonna open. I can smile, take my photo, and it goes right into the frame. Ha, ah, that's so fantastic. Hopefully you're excited. So your students aren't gonna say, where do I put the picture? And ask you tons of questions. They're gonna know exactly what to do. And that's how simple it is. Quick and easy to add a frame. If I tap on that plus sign, or pardon me, that check mark, I go back to frames. The next thing I want them to do is make a video. 
Now there can only be one video on one page um, at a time. So one video per page in Seesaw. Again, you can resize this. You can rotate this. If you want to um, add some style and some pizzazz, feel free to do whatever you want. If you want to customize these, if we tap on those three dots, Again, same thing, we can change the style, the order, we can edit the frame, add some additional um, choices if we'd like inside that frame, change the instructions. And if it's a video, you'll notice here we have a five minute time limit by default. However, you could say, all right, I just want my kiddos to have two minutes tops and that's it. Click save and there the frame has been updated with, um, voice recordings we can add a voice recording and again resize it position it exactly where we like for younger students this is too much on one page so you would want to do one element per page that would be a best practice for smaller uh for our smaller learners our, our littlest learners um, but just to show you what does that voice recording look like now this doesn't have to be a huge frame because it's just a voice recording we tap on those three dots we see here we have the voice we can record from right here however the students just click record and it's going to start recording automatically as you'll notice, it has a five minute count, or pardon me, five minute uh, recording length. And then when they're done, they get that visual cue of the check mark with the word done. And it's also in green as it is up here. So you check done. And now they have that play icon so they can listen back to um, their recording and re record if they need to. Click on those three dots and they can delete that and re-record. So right from the start of school, students are exploring, they're experimenting, and they're really taking some ownership over their work that is going to be shared not just with you and their classmates, uh, but with their with their families. And pardon me, it's just with the teacher. Um, the kids aren't going to share their work with one another unless you incorporate the blog feature into Seesaw. Um, but keep in mind that the families can see what their students are creating in Seesaw. And um, it's a great way to strengthen that connection between home and school. So um, that's how simple it is to add frames. But I wanna take it to the next level and I wanna show you how you can combine Seesaw with Canva, which is one of my other favorite ed tech tools. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete these frames and I'm going to show you how you can add um, some elements to this uh, activity to make it um, more elementary friendly, if you will, and not just this blank background. So if you want to take it to the next level, stick with me. If you're ready and you just want to start playing with frames on your own and you feel that um, you're ready to jump right in, thank you for watching. If you're going to stick with me, um, thank you. So let me show you what, I can, what we can do with uh, Canva. So I went into Canva and I, you can see here, I clicked on design templates. I went into presentations and I did all about me for my search terms. And as you can see, there are many, many to choose from. So I, for the purpose of the tutorial, I chose one that caught my eye right away. It had 12 pages, but you can see here, I only selected six of those pages for this particular activity. And I kept the frames with that sky background. So that's where my students multimedia elements can be placed. So what I did was I took screenshots of these slides and I saved them to my photos on my Mac. So I'm gonna use these as my background. It is so simple. If it sounds complicated, no worries. Just send me an email and I can sit down with you and go through this together. But once you take these screenshots, they're photos. So it's a PNG file type. So when you go into Seesaw, if you want to use those as your background, what you would do is you would click on the camera icon. You're going to select upload. I'm going to go into my photos. And this is the first one here. And there it is. It's my background. I'm going to shrink it down. So it's about the same size as my 
Seesaw Canvas. And a best practice I would recommend is to click on the three dots and then lock all. So now your students can't move this background. Now you add the frame. So we're gonna hit the check mark, go into frames, select the photo. We're gonna rotate this slightly. And if you want it to be exact, you can um, eliminate this whole frame in the background because the photo's gonna, going to be a little bit off. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. But again, we can edit the frame, change the instructions, or just have that blank icon. And when we're ready, we smile, take our photo, there it is. And the students have placed their photo exactly where it needs to go. Um, and that's how simple it is. We can add a, a second page. I'm gonna go back into my camera. I'm gonna upload the second page in that All About Me, which is, um, let's just choose this one right here, my favorite subject. So um, again, we can add a frame. This time we can tell the students, I want you to take a video. And I want you to explain to me what your favorite subject is and why. So that is a spot where we might wanna change the instructions, explain why, why is that your favorite subject? And then they tap on it, they're, they're recording their video, and when they're done, it's going to be placed right inside that frame. And again, we can, whoops, we can resize that frame and we can add additional elements on this slide if we'd like to. We as teachers can add our own voice instructions on every single slide if we'd like. We can add additional text labels. And then you can just continue to build your All About Me presentation. Again, upload, we go into photos, we've taken all those screenshots. Meet my pets, or maybe we're gonna say meet my family. And you can do one tool at a time. You can do multiple tools if you have um, older students. If you're giving students choice, it's built in right, right away. So we can go to frames and we could say, okay, you can do either a video or your voice. So I'm going to do edit frame and voice recording. Believe it or not, the, the more you teach here in the district and you work with students, the more you're gonna see some of our students do have difficulty being on camera and recording their voice. And in the world that we're, we're living in now, these are skills that they will need. They will need to be able to interview through a video. They'll be doing uh, meetups or Zoom calls or who knows what the technology will be um, once they graduate and get out into the world. But if we can get our kids to start doing these things when they're in kindergarten and first grade, they're going, going to be so competitive in the real world when they get out into a highly advanced digital world. And so I would encourage you to be taking advantage of these fantastic tools in Seesaw. So if I hit save here, just want to show you what this would look like from the student perspective really quick. If I... Um, change this a bit. I'm going to put it in the frame. And again, it's differentiated, built right in. It's giving students choice right, right away. And we can go ahead and click preview as a student. And this is exactly what the students are going to see. And then we can exit the student preview and continue building. So again, frames makes creating activities for your students much less stressful in the past. I've worked with kiddos before where the, when they see that blank screen, it is very overwhelming. They really don't know what you want from them. So um, again, I would encourage you to use this so that your students can be um, rest assured that they know what you want from them and they're going to meet your expectations, hopefully exceed your expectations, really think deeply about the work that they're creating and be proud of it, be proud to share it with an authentic audience, their parents and guardians. And again, this is not just busy work. These are activities that align not only with SEL, this particular one, for example, aligns with our SEL curriculum. 
but any type of activities that you start creating can be standards aligned and really push students to think critically um, and analyze, am I doing my best work? Is this something that I'm proud of? Students are much more accountable when they know their work is visible to not just the teacher, but also to mom and dad and the folks at home. So I hope you feel comfortable and confident to use frames, um, whether you use it with Canva or you use it by itself in Seesaw. If you love that combination of Canva and Seesaw, and I hope you do, um, please reach out to me. They work so well together seamlessly and you can create some really enrich and uh, robust and en enriching activities for students to challenge all of them, to meet them where they're at, um, and to push them to reach their full potential. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I appreciate you watching and please don't hesitate to reach out if you'd like to work together this upcoming school year. I hope to be in your classroom often. Thank you so much.